Hello and welcome to Ganesh's YouTube channel. So, as I told you, in this video we are going to discuss about an example related with Cardan's method. So, we are going to solve a cubic equation with the help of Cardan's method. So, let's begin. This is your question and you know, you can watch my last video so as to understand the steps but I am reminding you about those steps in this video as well. So, you can, the first step is you need to make the coefficient of x cube as 1. So that's work is already been done because it is given to us. Great. Now, your second step is to change x, y is equals to x minus minus l by 3. This is your formula, right? So, you need to let this. So, x minus minus, you know what is l? L is your minus b part. So you can see your b is minus 3, right? So minus 3, this is minus is in formula and minus 3 is your value of L by 3, okay? So your y is x, 3 is cancelled with 3, minus minus plus and this is 1. So you can see here your x is y plus 1 now, right? If you substitute this value into this, your next step is to substitute this value here. So y plus 1 whole cube. This is your main equation by the way, okay? First, so x cube minus 3 y plus 1 whole square plus 12 y plus 1 plus 16 equals 0. Now open this. a cube plus b cube plus 3 a square b plus 3ab square, 1 square is 1, minus 3, a plus b whole square, a square plus b square plus 2b, 2ab. Then after 12y plus 12 times 1 is 12. Let add it up, 12 and 16, 28. Okay? Then after, what will you get after solving it? So, 3y square will be cancelled with 3y square. This is 1, plus 3y minus 3 minus 6y plus 12y, 28 equals 0. So after simplifying it, 3 minus 6 is minus 3, 12 minus 3 is 9, 9y, right? And this is minus 2, this is 26. As I told you, this will be in the form of y cube, py plus q, right? Now your next step is, so your first step to substitute this into the equation. Thereafter, so this is your px. We cannot write it px because it is equals to zero. This is now polynomial equation, not only polynomial. But this is p of y plus one. Okay. Now, what you need to do? So next step is let y is equals to u plus v, and cubing both sides and compare. So this is your second equation. If you cubing both sides, what will you get? y cube is equals to u cube plus v cube plus 3 uv u plus v. Is that correct? Because a plus b whole cube is a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b. And you know that u cube plus v cube plus 3 uv, this is your y. This is your y, right? So, if you take all the things into left hand side make an equation. So, y cube minus 3 u v y minus u cube plus v cube. This is your third equation. Now, compare. This is equal to 0. Compare second and third. Okay? On comparing second and third, what will you get? This is y cube. This is 9. The coefficient of y is 9 here. Coefficient of y is minus 3uv. So 3uv will be 9. Is 9 here? Thereafter, this is constant. So minus u cube plus v cube is equal to constant, which is 26. This is minus 26. Alright? Now, if you see uv will be minus 3, you can cube both sides. You can take u, u cube, v cube is equal to minus 27, right? Now, you need to form an equation whose roots are 
u cube and v cube these are two roots of that particular equation so how can we make that equation that equation will be variable square minus sum of roots into variable plus product of roots equals zero right now if you put the values down here t square minus this is this is minus 26 so minus minus plus 26 this is minus 27 equals zero so your equation your quadratic equation is t square plus 26 t minus 27 equals zero you know how to solve it yes you do so t squared what's the factor of this you can write it as plus 27 t minus t right splitting the term at the 27 minus 1 is 26 and if you multiply this it will turn out as a product of for highest power coefficient and constant take t common so t plus 27 minus 1 common t plus 27 so there are two values of t one is minus 27 and one is 1 okay and t is nothing but these roots u cube and v cube that means your u cube either of these is minus 27 and v cube is 1 so what would be your u 3 taking cube root both sides minus 3 and v 1 you have got your values of u and v now take the back root your y was u plus v so your y has become from here u plus v minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 so if y is minus 2 so your x will become minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 now your one root the value of x there are three roots of x one root is minus 1 let's see about other two roots okay so you know if x is equals to minus 1 is one of its root then we know if we know one root then we can find out other two by division method whether it is long division or any of the division so let's take a duster let's divide it so you can see here x plus 1 is your factor this is x cube minus 3x square plus 12x plus 16. x is here. So you need x square to cancel it. Plus x square. Subtract it. Minus 4x square plus 12x. So this is what you want to make it. Minus, you need minus 4x. So as to make it minus 4x square. Minus 4x plus plus. You need to change the sign, right? I know you know, but just for a reminder, 12 and 4, 16x plus 16. So 16x plus 16, you have got 0. Obviously, you should have it because, because this is the factor of this, right? Now, this is your equation. So for another two roots, you need to solve this equation. And you know how to solve it? By splitting the term method or quadratic formula. Uh, let's do by quadratic formula. So your a is coefficient of x squared which is 1, b is minus 4, c is 16. You know discriminant b squared minus 4ac. So minus 4 squared is 16 minus 4ac. 16 minus 64. So 16 minus 64 is 14 minus 6 is 8, 5 minus 1, 48. That is also in minus, right? If we have done everything okay so far. Okay, D, so x is equal to minus b plus minus root d by 2a. So minus b means minus minus plus 4 plus minus root d. You can, you know, it is 12 times 4. And you can write it as... Um, 8 times 6 oh let's do 2 to the 4 to 4 the 8 to 12 to 6 to 3 3 times 1 so you can write it as 4 root 6 4 root 3 
3, uh, root 3 square is 3, 4, 4 square is 16, 16 3 is 48, right? So, you can take it out, 4 root 3 by 2a, 2a means 2 times 1, so it is 2 plus minus, this is iota, right? This is iota, so uh, if you cancel 2, this is so these are your two roots. 2 plus 2 root 3 ada and 2 minus 2 root 3 ada. I hope you get this solution and you like this video and if so then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.